Hi, everybody. Hello, Rutger. Hey, Gil. So, Dragon Fantasy uh, prequels. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Two prequels, one after the other. And you would think that uh, these uh, would be very similar, but they're very, very, very different. Uh, we, we, are, we are different in our expectations, I guess. I think, I think the way that they are different and this will you know go on like the episode the title is uh, what is uh, wrong with the house of the dragon like in the pre in, in in the last episode in rings of power episode three we saw cross ethnic cross national cross uh, gender corporation to face the the big problems ahead mm -hmm. And there was only like an, and, and it was all successful. And the only cooperation that was unsuccessful was the elves in the in the orc pit who just worked among themselves and they failed. Good, good evidence for the importance of diversity in the workplace. <laughs> exactly, you will die if you don't have. If we don't stand together <laughs> with people who are different than yes. you. And yeah. in House of the Dragon, the, the episode reminded me that the actual book, the source material that it is based on, the book, the Fire and Blood, the format of the book is as if it was written by a court historian sometime later. Mm. And, he's, and it's, it's basically a gossip book about mm. what is going on within the royal family. I don't know if we can relate to that at all, like to have a royal family that everybody is always obsessed about uh, who is shacking up with who and which uncle doesn't like. I don't know. It's maybe I don't know if it's ba if it's based on anything that we can relate to. But this is basically 150 years, 400 pages of uh, royal gossip. That's the mm. uh, that's the book. And I guess because what, of what happened with the original show that they didn't base it, when they didn't base it on the source material, they just like went to the opposite direction and said, this very, very niche book now is going to be mainstream and we're going to keep everything exactly as is and it's going to be uh, royal as a soap opera, maybe for the British royal family to say, mm. oh, you're so much like her. No, 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 you're so much like him. While when I'm watching it, <laughs> and I see the depictions of the regular people. So, this is how you see us. Like we are not. Ro mm -hmm. I'm. I'm not royalty. I would be one of the regular mm -hmm. people. So I guess I'm just like disgusting and dirty. Yes. Unlike the very wholesome incest that happens ah, within yeah, royal yeah. families. Beautiful blonde. Uh, yeah, yeah, beautiful yeah. blood incest while all the regular people there, everybody's uh. having sex and they're like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> So we're back to just classic uh, HBO where that was the way where you could see some tits and ass. And so we're back to that. Yeah, okay, just like good off, job. Uh, off uh, focus though, the tits. Now. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, we saw Dick even, so you, you know you needed to have a set like this is also that's kind of old fashioned as well. Like it used to be that that was transgressive and you know like really boomer stuff of like we do Lord of the Rings, but then with cocks, uh, and then you had to have the HBO set top box so that you could see the cocks. But now like that's well, nobody yeah. cares anymore. If I want to see that, okay, there's a million websites where I can see that. So the very 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 long sex scene. Yeah. Like what? No need for that. Yeah, we're not in the nineties. What yeah. are you doing? And yeah. I don't want to see that actress naked. No, just like uh, I w w we know what sex is. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I got it. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's they okay. had sex. Okay. So what? Yes. They're just like you want to. Uh, they wanted to show that it's tender. Okay. Ten seconds. Yeah. But just like on and on and on. It's just like wow. And yeah. the scene, the scene where the hand of the king was uh, dismissed, fired after thirty years or something on the job, and just mm -hmm. like he took it so hard personally, yeah. because he actually had good intentions, but you know his feelings were hurt. Yeah. So that was very hard. That was very yeah. hard. His, his good intentions when he built up his spy network <laughs> 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 to, to follow the whole family at all hours. <laughs> right, use the poverty of the regular people <laughs> to your political advantage and then get your feelings hurt after that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. One tear running down Himmler's <laughs> cheek. 
<laughs> Just like, <laughs> like oh, he, he built his entire wealth on subjugating uh, thousands of people, and now he'll have to go back to his plantation with all the servants and slaves, knowing oh. that he did the right thing. But wasn't yeah. uh, you know sufficiently recognized for it? Wow, that must be hard. Yeah. Must have, will be hard for him. I want a spin off yeah. on that. <laughs> 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 How he's dealing with it? Very good actor. Very good actor. Huh. Well, he has had to move to his uh, Cinnabon shop in Omaha after being fired. <laughs> yeah, no, I think <laughs> this hand of the of the king. He's so broken that he's going to live in London and become just like a loser roommate. <clears throat> For oh. some guy, and, some, and this guy is going to one day meet a uh, famous uh, Hollywood actress. Now you huh? don't remember that movie? He's from uh, Notting Hill. <laughs> oh, he's that guy. He's the right. stupid, uh, stupid roommate from Notting Hill. So this is the future for him. This is basically oh. a prequel for that movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's an elaborate setup uh, <laughs> for him he, to become the roommate. Yeah, he didn't. Oh. He, 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 he wasn't always a loser. Just like no. this happened to him. It was so hard. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> it's unepic. Yes. It's like the perspective, if you compare it to Rings of Power, where you see mm. so many cultures, so many worlds, so many things, and just like, and both of them are prequels, but, you know, it feels like, like it's moving. Yeah. And House of the Dragon, it's basically about a group of royals who are going through a malaise. Yeah. Because ruling is boring. That's, that's like our right. problems for today. Ruling is boring. It's tedious. Mm -hmm. Taxing. Ugh. Like these are the problems that the show presents. Yeah. When you're the queen and you don't really love your husband, this is hard. Oh. Yeah. It is hard. But okay, there are other harder things out there maybe, yeah. you know. It just seems so low stakes still. Uh I I mean we we touched on that last time like, like it, aren't these people in danger the whole time? No, I think I'll go slum it. <laughs> it's fine. Right. Right. The fact that they have a dragon, the dragon is up with you all the time. Right. And also within the family, there's just danger the whole time. Like, wouldn't it make sense for the princess to be afraid of Uncle Damon? Like he, if he kills her, then he is next on the throne. So why does she go party with him? First of all, why does she like, oh, let's go to the, through the secret door. It's probably fine. Let me put on the dirty clothes. I'm sure it's fine. It's very low stakes, right? <laughs> right. To the point, to a point that you mentioned, I think last time, about the marriage and how she would be socialized differently, oh. right? Obviously, no. father seems intent to sell me off to the biggest lord or whatever out there, and yes, like yeah. of course, <laughs> that's the point. Yeah, this is how it works. It's as if. Today, you would say, like someone would say, Father seems to want what's best for me. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Asshole. He really wants me to get a good job. Uh. This is basically a translation to that. And she's, she's telling this as, as if it's like an insight, some insight into what? Oh, she's denied self actualization. <laughs> you know? This is why she's running off. Uh, yeah. Something's missing in her life. Yeah. <laughs> it's very sad. So uh, last episode, uh, the princess really just wanted to ride her pony. And this time she uh, snuck out of the house to go a party downtown. What do you think? She <laughs> what, what exploits next? Do you think she uh, gets an uh, F in uh, maths or she's caught smoking weed behind the palace? This is going to be very tough for the king. And look, he's got a lot on his plate already, right? <laughs> like the relationship with the queen is getting more and more strained. Also because of the weird kind of situation where the princess is, is friends with the queen. And like his psoriasis is still not resolved. 
last time <laughs> he and the queen were trying to have sex she was just lying there like this is all very tough on everybody really <laughs> yeah ruling is lonely also that's another uh, thing that we see it's also boring and uh, lonely and i think we don't spend enough time thinking about how hard and lonely and boring it is to rule over us <laughs> It's yeah. like we don't appreciate <laughs> although the, the, that that uh, bullshit is still <sighs> like in us like the you know okay so the queen of england has just died uh, she uh, oh very sad somebody who's 96 <laughs> a billionaire died <laughs> died in her sleep wow it's very sad yeah <laughs> A billionaire so, died who yeah. did nothing to for to get that, and who did nothing for no one. Yes, she died, and, and, and oversaw many many decades of colonialism yeah. worldwide. <laughs> and never and never said anything meaningful about anything that happened during uh, her time. Stuff that we take for granted today, like feminism, like something about the climate. I don't know. You're the queen. You rule over the land. Maybe you could have said something about that. I don't know for you. I don't know. Something, anything. Uh -huh. Basically, all of history is, uh, you know, through the perspective of the rulers because that is what has survived, right? Mm -hmm. But when you create a, a show set in the past, uh let's say you had now like you have a show about ancient rome mm -hmm. it's not going to show you just like a uh, perspective of three or four people or maybe it's going to do that if it's made in the 70s right like uh, i claudius, I claudius. right yeah. but then the show rome is going to show you all kinds of perspectives that's yeah. That was basically the draw of the whole thing, right? It's like the point of view characters and how you see all these different perspectives that create this rich world. Sure. I don't mind the court intrigues if they are high stakes. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. I enjoyed watching I, Claudius, and, you know, okay, it's a little hard with these, the 70s quality and just these weird sets, but at least there, there's actual intrigue that kind of represents how fucked up it actually was in the court there and how grotesque those those people in the court were uh just kind of the opposite of what's being shown here and how much also they were constantly in danger from each other like i claudius yeah. is not a soap opera right it's no. it's it's worth watching and it's like really messed up how like gradually as you go through it one by one they all murder each other yeah and it's excellent uh, and this could like y you could set something in the court like that uh but then make it good <laughs> <laughs> no but then you would you would need more characters yeah you would need <clears throat> world build more each yeah. character what the world is uh, the, and this is uh, you said earlier when we we're talking you said the low effort yeah not low effort by the actors not low effort by you know the production value and all no, that no, 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 not no, at all that's cool sure yeah but uh, but somehow the fact that the, all of that is awesome the actors and the production value but it gives a perspective that even in the 70s, in Al Claudius, they wouldn't have thunk mm -hmm. of doing it. This is not, it's even less critical than, uh, I don't know, a show like The Crown. Sure. Where it does give excuses uh, to the royals. So I've heard, I refuse uh, to watch it. Excuses for the royals, but basically it's not that you like them. Yeah. But here we're supposed to even uh, like Damien, I think. I think we're supposed to like I think, Damien. I think we're supposed to think he's kind of cool. Yeah. 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 And, and if we go to the, the Rings of Power, there is also, they're also dealing there with uh, how you treat refugees. Because you have a <laughs> blonde sure. refugee there and uh, a king <laughs> refugee there who we don't, don't know at the time that he's king. And the way, the way that they're treated is uh, very relevant. For our sure. lives, yeah. I mean, I can I can forgive things uh, silliness in the uh, Rings of Power. What uh, silliness? 
well just like the the, the, the it, it, some of the interpersonal saliness or whatever yeah because we feel like okay we are starting to embark on a large uh storyline and the stakes are going to go up and up and up and okay it's a little forced with cliffhangers every episode and, ooh, it's, uh, yeah. and these little mysteries <laughs> like two times in a row we have to figure out oh it's a map <laughs> it's twice ah, like first right. oh it's the map of the stars oh it's a map of Mordor. Yeah. okay we got it <laughs> because it's a legend but it's a legend yeah. Yeah, i think that See, it's exactly fine. that's fine it. because it's, it's going to yeah. get epic yes uh, yes yeah. and it's not you know trying to be something that it's not it's leaning towards the the, the silliness and the, yeah. and the grandeur of things Sure, just like with the Peter Jackson films, like some parts are like very silly and cringe, but it's very epic. I, I watched again The Fellowship last week. It's one of the movies I've watched most in my life. And like, I guess I still think it's good in some epic way, e even if there's a lot of silliness. And, and what did you think of the communist hobbits? Uh, they, uh, that's kind of brutal. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get going. Sorry, <laughs> we'll, we'll read your name out next time. Bye, All right? And they, you know, they are, you know, anti individualist, yeah, right? Very collective, yeah, very collective. And, yeah. and I guess it's like uh, back in the day, if you had. <clears throat> Like back, back, back in the day, like Neanderthal days, whatever. If you were, if you were somebody that was, you know, uh, holding us back. Sorry, you're out. You're out. Yeah. yeah, it's it's funny how you mentioned like the Neanderthals. Like the the show kind of succeeds in making it look like this. We're we're looking at an older time than Lord of the Rings and also these hard foods, they look more Neolithic, right? Mm. Right. They're more communal than the hobbits from Lord of the Rings, right? They have, they have less private property. Less private property, right. They're, <laughs> afterwards, they're in holes. They're like the opposite. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here they're right. uh, all, everybody's in everybody's business. Yeah. <laughs> for bad, for <laughs> good or bad, sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a little uh, forced with setting up the surprises. Like I, I mean, I we're guessing it's Gandalf, yeah. the, the the meteor man. Yeah, uh, we're guessing that in the in the concentration camp, uh, the black elf is about to meet Sauron. Probably, I hope so. I uh, hope so. Yeah, cliffhanger, like, ooh, uh, and like sort of blurry, not quite showing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, uh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> uh, right, right. The the final shot, the blurry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Just like the final shot to the previous episode, like uh, where uh, Arondir is is caught by uh, the orcs, right, and then dragged into the bushes. He can't yeah. quite see, but then you're like, oh, oh got it, got to watch again. <laughs> it's classic TV making. I feel like because it's self-aware, it's just it's it's working. Yeah. Because it's not silly that you think that the writers are silly. No, it's, yeah. this is what they're going with. If you, if you don't like that, then that's fine. Like in the in the Rings of Power, they have just have they have a story to tell, and uh, yes. and so they just go through the story. So Numino, do you remember anything about that from the movies? Well, I know that there's like the Numenorians who ha had left traces here and there, um, like the big statues at the end of the first movie. That that's them, right? Yes, yeah. Okay. So the Numenorians. Uh, here we see their their main island, but they also went uh, to uh, to uh, Westeros, <laughs> 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 to Middle Earth, uh, and there they also became kings and and built built that that uh, stuff. Uh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. So everybody's going down, right? So you see this empire. You see they show you like a huge empire at its peak. Right, a uh -huh. huge uh, shot, and you zoom out. Yeah. And it's telling you, you remember the first uh, movie with the big <laughs> statues. Yeah. Even an empire as huge as this can just disappear. Look upon my works, you mighty, and despair. Yes. Right? 
So this is, this is good. This is good yeah. storytelling, good, relevant storytelling. It's very fun that we have, are treated with the, both the dragon fantasies at the same time and we can follow them. It sounds like we are enjoying the uh, uh, Rings of Power a bit more than Much. House of the Dragon. Much more. Like, I'm really, really, really looking forward for the next uh, Rings of Power episode. And I'm kind of looking forward also to House of the Dragon just to see, just to be in awe again. Like, the, the entire part where they showed how the regular people are just like the worst of the worst of the worst. I was like, mm. I can't believe that this is what you're showing. Do you know that we, your viewers, are regular people? What mm. are you, like... Everybody is ugly. This is so grotesque. I was like, wow. So I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to watching it like that and see, this is how you see us? Interesting. Okay. Okay. Just like out there. It's not even... When you imagine yourself 500 years ago, mm-hmm. it's hard to imagine yourself as, a, as royalty because what do you have? You have nothing to base that on, right? That experience. Yeah. Unless you're very, 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 very rich, I feel like right. I, I feel like this show should be on Amazon because this is about Jeff Bezos. Exactly. I was just going to say exactly. This is the Jeff Bezos uh, perspective. Oh, the peasants, disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? The incest scene was super, super gross. Mm. Just like not in a cool way. Mm-hmm. And now that you mention it, I'm thinking maybe the perspective is just like Targaryen, completely Targaryen, and they showed you the incest from their perspective. Like they showed you the incest, uh, the incest as super sexy. Yeah, that was like the perspective of the show. That right. What is going on between the uncle and his niece? Super it's hot. hot. <laughs> <laughs> right. and this is why it was gross because I'm like, no. What are you doing? <laughs> Just like you're forcing <laughs> this perspective on me. So who would have uh, a, a perspective that uh, incest uh, is, you know, cool and sexy? Targaryens. Oh. Yes. <laughs> so this is all in, all in on the internal Targaryen perspective, and oh. they don't, and they're oblivious to anything else, to the realm, to ruling, to anything else. Oh myopic to just like an infinitesimal degree this is like not even looking at the world through a keyhole it's just like through a pixel or something you're right it is more myopic also than the previous show like you don't switch between viewpoints the way you used to yeah (laughs) i mean that makes the rings of power also better to like more palatable to watch because you kind of switch between viewpoints so you get kind of a feel for that whole world yeah yeah and here Uh, the other world was just like beyond the walls of the castle and it was like whoa look at this weird place a disgusting place well (laughs) all the other worlds in the rings of power you know you see the good and the bad whatever (laughs) This is so weird. Like this was just like the her extraterrestrial, uh, you know, experience was just like seeing people outside her immediate family and servants. No. <laughs> ah. And that also, I guess, I guess that perspective has to be super misanthropic, super no. misanthropic on on everybody who is not in the castle. No. Wow. Well, that I, part's I, realistic. <laughs> I think that's <laughs> probably accurate. As a perspective. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 So I know. In, so so that is the question: Is the show um, oh, okay. so showing the subjectivity, or is this also the way the makers see? It? So you're saying yeah. that this is, you know, so multi-layered. That yeah. into the format of the show, without revealing their hand, just like at all, they're showing you how the world is, how they see you. Yes. And they, meaning the ruling class, right. they're telling you this is how the ruling class sees you. 
like subliminally through how they show you their sex and how they see people. Right. Wow. They wow, show wow. the com okay. contempt through filmmaking. Okay. I like that. Th that would be awesome if it panned out that way. And we can watch it this way, even if they, if even if it's not meant to. Oh yes, the, the little little piece of air or sort of thing that strengthens that the contempt, the, the depiction of the contempt. Also, so the king has got his skin issues, and he's in the bath, and the trained nurses are seeing to him. Uh, and then the queen says uh, she that she's going to take over. And she does a better job. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Where did you learn that? <laughs> she's she's a, she's a nobility, so it's, it's so hard to find good staff these days. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> so, oh my goodness! Amazing! Amazing! Uh -huh. I can't believe this show is made this way. I've never seen anything like that. It's either like spectacularly obtuse or spectacular, spectacularly satirical. They're just like, yeah. you know, seven dimensional uh, storytelling chess or something. Maybe, maybe. Let's hope for it. Let's wait. Let's give it a chance. <laughs> okay, so we have a lot to look, to look forward to. Uh, thank you, Otre. That's been awesome. Yes, thank you. Yay, yeah, Dragon you. Shows. Yes. Uh, bye. Bye.